Hello, I'm Chuck, and welcome to the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase. Tonight, we continue our mission of helping support original music in the Delaware Valley with our three-step process. Listen, experience, and pass on original music. But we need your help to get the word out. So let's get started. Tonight's artist originally hails from upstate Pennsylvania. But back in her 20s, she moved to the Delaware Valley to join a band. Now she's a singer-songwriter. Let's meet Kate Asiren here on the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase. So now we got a taste of Kate's music. Let's find out more about her in the interview when we return. <laughs> difficult times it's nice to know there are places that are trying to bring you some normalcy and still look out for your health the blue crab grill is one of those places and you can enjoy a social distance dining experience or just get curbside pickup all you have to do is call 302-737-1100 for a reservation or to place an order or bluecrabgrill.com and make your reservation and remember we're all in this together Hi, my name is Kate Siren. Um, 
I'm a musician in Drexel Hill. I'm a singer songwriter. Um, I started writing music, I think about when I was 12 years old. Um, I was accepted into this program called Art Tech. Um, in Pottsville, it was in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. It's actually at the Yingling Mansion. It was pretty awesome. I got to work with um, a teacher there and it was more about writing and creating than um, you know, learning how to play an instrument. And that really opened a lot of things up for me. Um, you know, it, it's, it's hard as a musician trying to um, narrow it down, but you know, I'm singer songwriter, I guess like a little bit of Americana with blues. I definitely have like, my songs are kind of like tongue in cheek. So, you know, I try and keep things light and a little silly sometimes. But it's the calm before the storm. It's just the calm before the storm. It's just the calm before the storm. Um, I love to write. I feel like there's songs just kind of bouncing around in my head, like waiting to come out. Like I might, you know, I'll be driving to work and a lyric or a melody will just pop into my head and I'm just waiting for the day to end so I can get down, you know, into my basement. That's where I write so I can, you know, write my songs out. So I love to write, but I enjoy performing too um, and interacting with the audience. And then I moved here in my early 20s. I actually joined a band called Show and Tell. I was their bass player, but I did contribute a few songs. But I played bass and I got to go on tour with them. So that's the reason that's what brought me out here. <laughs> and then I met my husband and ended up, you know, planning my roots here. I play, well, I play guitar. Right now I'm playing acoustic guitar and singing. Um, I'm not playing with a band, but I, I pick up a couple different things. I've played saxophone, I've played in Latin jazz bands, um, play bass, guitar. So I, I'm a jack of all trades. The newer song I wrote was Calm Before the Storm, and it's kind of about how life is today. Um, and it's a little poppy, it's acoustic, but it definitely has like a pop light feel to it. Um, and then I have a song that I wrote, and it's one of the first songs I wrote, it's called Silver Wings. And that's, kind of, it's been the song that's followed me. It's the one that people remember, and it's kind of a mushy, sappy, you know, type of a song, but it's the one that people remember and ask me to play when I, you know, when I perform a show. I try and write them all, they don't all stick. Um, I don't know, I think I kind of have a satirical way of looking at life and sometimes I'll look at a situation or a conversation and it, it'll it just strike me in a way. Um, and I try and write them all down. So I probably have a lot of little shreds of ideas out there and some of it like, um, like it felt calm before the storm wrote itself. Like it was just one of those songs that it, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it just kind of comes through you. Like I had this idea in my head and I was driving to work and I came home that night, got the kids to bed, went down my basement and I wrote it and recorded it. Um, Silver Wings was another one that, you know, wrote itself. Um, and other ones I have to spend more time on. There's ones that there's good ideas there, but they need more time to hone it in and narrow it down to um, get done what I want to figure out how I want to what I want to say. <laughs> it's just the calm before the storm. 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 The melody's there. The melody's there. Yeah, it's definitely like I, I just feel like it's, you know, I don't know, like it's kind of shouting at me. <laughs> COVID, 
I miss um, working with other musicians. I mean, I've actually written a lot more, but I miss having the input and the feedback and bouncing ideas off each other. Even just having someone to throw some harmonies and lead guitar parts and drumming in to it. Right now, it's just me and my acoustic guitar. Um, so I, that's the hardest part. I miss just tossing ideas around with other musicians. I've gotten to do a lot of cool things, um, and I think a lot of cool things that are beyond me. You know, I've been really lucky. Um, you know, I grew up in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, in the middle of the mountains, and I've kind of just stumbled onto opportunities. Um, my first band was called Kate's Band, and I got to open up for actually a local um, musician, Charlie Gracie. I don't know if you've heard of Charlie Gracie, you know, big in the 60s, like kind of doo -y. Um I got to open up for him at the Rodeo Bar and Grill in New York um, in the early 2000s. Um, that was pretty awesome. And when I was playing show and tell, we got to play in South by Southwest. So we got to go on a little mini tour. So we played a couple of venues along the way and the way back up. So that was really awesome. Um, when I was with show and tell, we were sponsored by Jaeger. So we got to open up for the Jaeger tour. Um, they were a great band. It wasn't my type of music. It was like a heavier sound than what I play, but talented musicians and we got to open up the Jaeger tour at the Electric Factory. So that was pretty amazing. Um, and now I'm just enjoying, you know, writing and kind of getting back to my own style of music. But it's the calm before the storm. It's just the calm before the storm. It's just the calm before the storm. It's just the calm before the storm. Here's more music from Kata Siren here on the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase. Here's more music from Kata Siren here on the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase.
Here's more music from Kata Siren here on the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase. Here's more music from Kata Siren here on the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase. Thank you. 
So who gone? So who gone?